Yeah, you know that chart of the different layers of earth you've been staring at since elementary school? Yeah, we're, we're not quite sure that's how it really works. So my question is, if we haven't even learned enough of our own planet yet, why are we trying to fly out and invade others? And yes, I know this planet is like a one bedroom apartment in New York City. We've abused it and now we're having kids so we need to move on. But until we do hitch up that huge intergalactic U-Haul, let's talk about what we know about what's inside our earth for a second. Contrary to sci-fi movies like The Core, we have not actually reached that far into Earth. The best we've done, the deepest we've ever been, is in Russia on the Kola Peninsula where there is a 7.5 mile deep hole that's deeper than the deepest point in the ocean, which to put into perspective is 6.8 miles deep. This hole is called the Kola Bor Hole and is, if you can believe it, a man-made hole. So if you're wondering, why did people all of a sudden feel the need to dig a super deep hole towards the center of the Earth? Well, that's that's a good question. And to put it simply, it's competition. We all know that the US and USSR have been trying to compete with each other for ages, especially during the space race in which both nations try to outdo one another in terms of space exploration supremacy. But little do people know that the space race wasn't the only thing the US and the USSR were rivals over. In the late 1950s and 1960s, while competing who could explore outer space the quickest, the Americans and the Soviets were also competing competing on who could explore within the Earth the quickest. As a result, both nations planned separate efforts to drill into the Earth's crust, each with the goal of drilling the deepest hole in the world because apparently everybody in the government back then thinks they're five and on a beach. The American drilling project was called Project Moho and was executed in the spring of 1961. The goal of the project was to drill into the Moho Rovacic discontinuity, better known as the Moho, which is the boundary between between the Earth's crust and the mantle. The project wasn't so successful though because just five years later it was cut short due to lack of funding. After that, well I guess they just kind of gave up and let the Soviets win the drill race. The Soviets started their digging process in 1970 and with the help of the Interdepartmental Scientific Council for the study of the Earth's interior and super deep drilling, they were able to be much more successful and drill the deepest hole in the world, the Kola Super Deep Bore Hole. And by doing this, by drilling seven and a half miles downwards, they were able to make some breaking discoveries. One of the benefits of digging so deep into the earth was that the Soviets were able to put geological theories to the test. One discovery made was that there isn't actually a transition from granite to basalt between three and six kilometers beneath the surface as many scientists had originally thought. The basalt actually extended beyond the 12 kilometer point, which made scientists rethink their original theories about seismic reflection results. In other in other words, the Kola borehole led to the discovery that an entire layer of the Earth's crust doesn't actually exist. What's more, at around 4.3 miles deep, cracks in the rocks were found to contain water. This was an amazing discovery because no one expected water to exist at such great depths. It made researchers realize that the water inside the rock cracks were probably caused by hydrogen and oxygen atoms squeezed out and then retained below the surface because of the impermeable rock above. Finally, one of the most amazing discoveries made through the project was the detection of life in the form of microscopic fossils found in rocks that were more than 2 billion years old. From the fossils, researchers were able to find the remains of 25 different species of plankton. I guess they really did hit Bikini Bottom. Anyway, the discovery was very surprising because the fossils were surrounded by organic compound that were very tough against the pressure and the temperature of the surroundings. Sadly, the Kola Super Deep Borehole Project was halted in 1994 because of a variety of reasons. One reason was because it was just getting way too hot down there. The temperature at the bottom of the hole was a scorching 356 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the temperature where food, where people get cooked. This was such a huge difference from the expected 212 degrees Fahrenheit, and it was almost unbearable for people to continue further. Not only that, rock density increased the deeper the hole was dug, resulting in greater porosity and permeability. In other words, it was like drilling through plastic rather than solid, which made it a very difficult operation. There are other hypotheses on why the drilling stopped. After the discovery of water within the hole, people started to believe that the hole was associated with the tail of Noah's flood, because it was believed that after the massive flood, all the water drained into subterranean sinkholes. Scientists previously questioned how the flood could have possibly existed if rocks weren't, you know, full of holes, and that they didn't know where the water went. And because of this discovery, 
many people believe that this is additional proof that Noah's flood story was not merely a tale. And besides the whole flood thing, there were persistent rumors that scientists were getting scared, that they would drill through hell, and that they actually heard screaming from tortured souls. I mean, that would be my number one reason to stop drilling. Anyway, today, if you want to go into the hole, and I don't know why you would, it's not possible because it's now bolted shut and completely inaccessible. In fact, the whole area surrounding the hole is completely out of use. But you know what is really crazy? Although the hole seems to be extremely deep, if you look at it from a different perspective, the hole's entire depth is only deep enough to cover around 0.002% of the distance to the center of the Earth. So that means there could be a whole different world right under our feet. And even if we could trek to the center of the Earth, I mean, would you really want to? Who knows what we'll find? The alien warded facilities, giants, five-headed monsters, and maybe even hell itself. So yeah, I, I think I would love to venture out into space and maybe colonize another planet, but uh, you know, going down to the center of the Earth, I think I'll skip that. But let me know what you think. Would you go to the center of the Earth if you could? If let's say we have no idea what's down there, we don't know at all, we just have a, have a way for you to go there, we, we can't promise that you'll come back, would you still go? Would you be a pioneer? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you later.